Good morning, Fly Crew. Today is day one of three, and I'm currently in Denver. Today I have four flights. I go from Denver to Oklahoma City, Oklahoma City to St. Louis, St. Louis to Columbus, Ohio, and then Columbus, Ohio to Fort Myers, Florida. On this trip, I'm working in the C position and I'm currently doing my pre-flight checks. All right, flight crew, so we have made it here to our first destination of Oklahoma City. If you all don't know, overnight, all of the window shades are open and because we only have about 40 people, a little bit less than 40 people on this flight. We kind of had to come through and close most of the shades. We left a few open in the back just because, you know, it's kind of cold right now, but we don't want it to get too hot once the passengers start boarding. afternoon fly crew I made it to my room here in Fort Myers Florida all right so they give us a box lunch here um, this is technically for in the morning so let's see what's inside of here it's basically some yogurt and apple some orange juice and a granola bar when we get in late on a p.m. trip they give us like a little lunch thing or a dinner bag or whatever you want to call it they give us that here so I do appreciate that hotel room has a microwave it also has a big fridge which i like they give us bottles of water this is my view parking lot view <laughs> and then this is the rest of the room let's go check out the bathroom here's the bathroom Ooh, not y'all giving us duff I might have to take that body lotion. All right. <laughs> really high counter. Y'all know I'm a shorty. And here is the shower. One thing I noticed about this hotel is that they always put a basket underneath the sink and this is where you need to put your washcloths and towels, your used ones. And I appreciate that because you guys know I usually like leave them piled up on the toilet so they're all in one place and housekeeping doesn't have to bend over too far. Also, they don't have to go like all over the room to collect them. All right, Fly Crew, so it was a good day today. Our day was long. It was four flights, over a 10 hour duty day, but we actually ended up landing here like 20 minutes early or something like that. So it was still a good day. Like even though we had four flights and a plane change in the middle of it and our longer flight was at the end of the day, still a good day so it's currently 4 39 here in fort myers my van time is at 4 a.m in the morning that means i have to get up at at least 3 a.m just to make sure i'm coherent and i have everything i need in the morning i do need to make a run to cbs because my nails look really bad they were looking bad last week they're looking even worse <laughs> this week so i might just run up to cbs actually the hotel may take me up there our overnight as you could probably tell is like around 12 hours a little bit less than that so sleep is needed but yeah i just want to check in with you guys i know i haven't talked to you guys that much today just because you know i don't know why i didn't talk to you guys <laughs> now that i think about it but yeah i'll catch you guys later <laughs> LifeWit sent me two lunch coolers as well as a clothing hamper. We're going to discuss the smaller cooler first and then the larger cooler as well as the clothing hamper a little bit later in the vlog. So let's talk about what I like about this lunch cooler. 
I like the size. This is the 27 can cooler and this is the exact perfect size that I needed because if I had gone up any larger, I don't think the bag would have been able to fit down the aisles comfortably. There is a front zipper that I like that also has a divider. I did take it on my current trip. So that's why you can see some items that are already in the lunch bag. It does have two side pockets, one side pocket being netted, and it also has a bottle opener on the side. I like that a lot. And on the other side, it is also a netted pocket, but this one has a zipper as well. This bag is perfect for aviation crew members because it does have a strap on the back so you can easily slide it over your bag handle so it can be transported easily. Now let's get into the compartments of the bag. This top compartment is huge. I'm going to show you some of the items that I was able to put inside of the top compartment. I already ate one of my yogurts, so that was three yogurts, two energy drinks, and two gel packs in here. And actually I could have put more stuff in here as well. I just didn't because I really didn't have any more. I would usually put fruit or something in there. On the inside, this compartment is pretty large as well. I was able to put my usual glass containers that I always carry on all of my trips and several other snack items. They were able to fit inside of here comfortably as well. So you can see I'm showing you how wide it is. Earlier today, I had an additional one of these and I had another one of these. So that made a total of four and they all fit down in this area. I already ate one of these today, so I had a total of three, and I already ate one of these today, and it made a total of two. All of those items fit here. And I do like this bag. I think this is gonna be the lunch cooler that I'm going to carry whenever I have my three-day trips. Now let's get into the 48 can cooler. Now this cooler is gray, so I'm not able to carry it with my flight attendant luggage because to be in compliance, the lunch bag has to be black. This lunch bag is the 48 can cooler and it is huge. Just look at the inside, you see it's taller, it has so much more room. The front pocket is bigger, you see I couldn't even fit it all on the screen. And then look at the side pocket, it also has that bottle opener as well, but look, almost my entire hand fits into the side pocket, really big. Same on the other side, it has a zipper with the netted pocket as well. It also has a strap on the back so you can carry it on your luggage if you need it to. And then it also has a strap as well. Overall, I do like this lunch bag. It would be perfect if you were bringing food for maybe like a picnic or an outdoor outing where you had multiple people because of the sizing. And like I mentioned, they also sent me a clothing hamper as well. What I do like about this clothing hamper is it does have its own form and shape. It does not have to have clothing items inside of it to keep its shape. It's very sturdy and it doesn't take up too much space so you can easily put it inside of your closet. After going to CVS, I decided to stop by Fresh Market to grab a few items. I haven't gone to a Fresh Market in such a long time. I really like this grocery store and I wish I had one a little bit closer to me in Atlanta. getting a turkey and Swiss panini from Fresh Market. They heat it up right there in front of you, so I'm probably gonna just put it back in the microwave after I check a shower. And then I ended up getting this egg and potato salad. I really hope this tastes good. There was a couple other things that I saw that I wanted to try, but I was like, let me not experiment. Let me just get one thing. Good morning, fly crew. Today is day two of two, and I have two flights. Today I go from Fort Myers to Baltimore, and then Baltimore to Long Island. All right, fly crew, so we made it here on the airplane. As you can see, we're flying on the 737-700 aircraft this morning. And then we do have life rafts on this aircraft. So we have to make sure we add that into the safety demonstration. Let's do my pre-flight checks. So as you all know, I check this area here. And then there is a overhead bin up front that I check as well. Let me go ahead and do that. Good afternoon, fly 
my crew. Actually, it's still morning time. <laughs> Look what time it is. Yes, yeah, that early. We only had two flights today. Short day, it was a through flight all day. If you guys don't remember, a through flight is a flight that where the customer books the flight and they have a connection, but they do not have to change airplanes. So yeah, kind of busy, but not a bad day at all. Oh look, what marvelous thing that I have in my room. An adjoining door <laughs> that I actually had to lock because it wasn't. I don't like that. <sighs> I have a microwave and a fridge in my room. I love that for me. And then here is the nice and spacious bathroom. Alrighty, Fly Crew, so I'm here in my room here in Long Island. Have not been in this hotel in a very long time. I do like this hotel. I actually like the beds at this particular hotel, so I'm able to get pretty good rest. Also, we got here really early. Like, it's like 10 o'clock in the morning, which I put on the screen. And our van time tomorrow is at 4.45 a.m., so that means we have like a 19 and a half hour overnight, long overnight. I'm gonna take a nap. My A and my B flight attendant, we're gonna all meet up at around one o'clock so we can have lunch. And then I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do with the rest of my day since I have a really long time here. It is raining here, unfortunately. And it's also a little bit chilly too. I wasn't expecting that. So um, that's actually pretty good, you know, relief from last week's vlog where I was literally in the heat the whole time. So I just wanna check on you guys really quickly. I'm gonna make sure I don't overstimulate myself too much by being on my phone so I can make sure I can wind down, take this good nap and then get up and meet them and have lunch so I'll catch you guys in a little while good morning fly crew today is day three of three it is go home day but guess what we are delayed so I have learned over the years of being a flight attendant to check your schedule when you wake up because you never know what could happen to your schedule overnight. This time we ended up being two hours delayed and I ended up messaging one of my flight attendants. We all ended up in a group chat. We had the A flight attendant call scheduling and they ended up pushing our report time back by two hours. Good morning, fly crew. Today is day three of three and it's call home day. So as you guys saw, I'm sorry for my voice because I got up super early, as you guys know, but I wasn't able to go back to sleep, so my voice is a little hoarse. But yeah, my schedule got changed. Right now, I'm working one flight from Long Island to Baltimore, and then I'm supposed to dead from Baltimore to Denver. Originally, I was supposed to do three flights, go from Long Island to Baltimore, Baltimore to somewhere, and then from there, go to Denver, but that has all changed now. So fingers crossed that this two flight day stays the same, one of them, which is the last one, being a deadhead. Like I said, I wasn't able to go back to sleep. I hate that for me. <laughs> like I really wanted to try to lay back down and get like maybe an hour or more of sleep. If my schedule stays the same, then it's okay. I can just go home and take a nap. But if it does change, I pray it doesn't, then it would be like a disaster. <laughs> so this is why I pack like energy supplements and sometimes an additional energy drink because you never really know what will happen to your schedule. So I catch you guys in a little bit. I gotta be downstairs in nine minutes. so we made it here on the airplane and let me do my pre-flight checks we're on an 800 737 800 aircraft it is the regular version not the g7 galley is that called the next gen maybe i don't know i'll double check but yeah everything looks good as far as the checks go so originally we were only scheduled to have like 60 something people on this flight but now we're down to like 40 something people so we shall see So scheduling has changed our schedule two additional times. Actually, one time I had a schedule change while I was on the phone with scheduling. 
<laughs> How grand. <laughs> so before I was supposed to have five flights, one of them being a deadhead, thank God that changed because you guys, I don't need that in my life. So currently right now I've worked from Islip to Baltimore. I'm supposed to go Baltimore to Chicago. And then deadhead from Chicago to Denver. Of course, you know, I'm gonna try to wave that deadhead and then go from Chicago Midway to Atlanta. I really had my commute already planned out. It was gonna be like boom, boom, but it's currently raining. It was raining in Iceland, which I told you guys. It's raining in Baltimore currently, and now we're coming up upon summertime travel, so it's about to be a fun summer. 